Hello everyone, today we are back with the Random Dice Defense Legendary Tier List Part 2, as promised. If you haven't watched the first part, I highly recommend doing so before watching this one. Link to part 1 will be in the description below and in the top right corner. Anyways, let's pick up where we last left off. Next up we have Nuclear Dice. Nuclear Dice is a really old dice too, and it used to be quite bad back in the day, but for many seasons now it has been a really solid dice for many different reasons. It works great for AI mode, and it also works great for PvP if you use it correctly. It might be more difficult to play with in PvP after they change the speed, but I do still think that it is a really good dice if you have the right class on it. I am either way going to be putting Nuclear Dice at an S tier. As I said Nuclear Dice can be used for both PvP and AI mode, but it can also be used for crew raid and many different things. It is quite hard to counter, and even though it's a really hard dice to play with, it still works really really well. Next up we have overheat dice. Now personally, I am a huge fan of overheat dice. Even though I don't really enjoy playing with it, I still do think that it's a really good dice, and that it works well against many different things. If you use the trait with it, it can reach its full potential, and I think that it still works really really well in the current meta, even though I haven't seen it that super much. I'm going to be putting overheat and an A tier, because I think there are better dices that you could be running at the moment, even though it still does work. The damage is good, and the ability is incredible. Next up we have Phantom Thief dice, which from what I know is one of the most hated dices in this game, and to be completely honest, I do hate it as well, even though I have ended up playing it at certain times. Now Phantom Thief did get a really big nerf recently, which I think mainly affects the trait version of it, but the nerf either way was really really big and made a huge difference for this rating. I'm going to be putting Phantom Thief at a B tier, but before the nerf it could have been a potential A tier or low S tier. Next up however we have Predator Dice. Now Predator Dice isn't really that used anymore and it is also a dice that has been through many different buffs and nerfs. I think Predator Dice is a little bit too low in terms of damage in the current meta and the dice is really annoying to play in co-op after the clone nerf, but the dice still somewhat works, so I'm going to be putting it at a C tier. Next up we have Rage Dice, which once again is one of those dices that has been through a lot of buffing and nerfing. I'm going to be putting this dice at a C tier, because once again it is one of those dices that you can still use. If you have it at a really high class, it can be quite good against aggro, and you can still go far with it in PvP, but it is simply unusable in most other game modes than PvP or 1v1 combat. Next up we have Recharge dice. Now recharge dice used to be a really good dice for DPS, and I would still argue that it is, but not really in comparison to other dices that have more DPS. I think everybody knows why recharge used to be really good, and why it still is good, but not good in comparison to other DPS dices. I'm going to be putting recharge at a C tier, but it could also be put at low B tier. The dice is still solid, but not as strong as other DPS dices. Next up we have Reverse Dice, which was a really controversial addition to the game when it first got released, but nevertheless it is a widely widely used dice, and nowadays I see it used in just about every single deck, especially in PvP. You can still use it in co-op for example, but it isn't used there as much as it is in PvP. Reverse Dice is simply just an S plus tier, I literally could not put it anywhere else. The dice works really really well instead of Joker, or you can use it together with Joker, and it will be an even better combo for adjustments on your board. Next up we have Royal Dice. Royal Dice I still see quite a lot in the meta, and it is really solid as an aggro dice. I do not think that it is the best one out there, but it still works and holds up really really well to this day. I'm going to be putting Royal Dice at a B tier, because I think it still works quite well, but that it can be countered using a lot of different decks. Next up we have Sandclaw Dice, which I know used to be meta for a short while back in the day, but recently I do not see it used whatsoever, to be honest. I think if you really really tried, you could use it somehow, but it is not something that I would recommend. I am leaning towards an E tier, but I am going to be putting it at low D tier, because I think the dice isn't really that good anymore, but if you use the trait, I am quite sure that you could find some sort of use for it. Next up we have Satellite Dice, which F tier, let's just be honest, the dice is extremely difficult to use, it doesn't really work, and even after they added the trait, it still does not really work. Next up we have Scope Dice. Scope Dice is, and has pretty much always been quite widely used, both in PvP and in co-op. I don't really have much to say about this dice, but I do not think the trait is that super good. I am personally going to be putting Scope Dice at an A tier, but it could also be placed at a B tier. I think Scope Dice is a really solid dice, but I do think that you could live without it. Next up we got Ceiling Dice. Now Ceiling Dice is also an extremely 
extremely new dice and it got added the season prior to this one as of recording this. I think ceiling dice, from what I've seen, is extremely strong at a high class, but I think you can still use it at a low class. At the moment it is basically a better version of Phantom Thief, but you won't grow your board using it. I am almost leaning towards an S+, because it's extremely hard to beat if you're running against someone who knows how to use it properly. I'm going to be putting it at an S tier though, because the dice works really really well and it is quite easy to run it as well. Next up we got shield dice. Now I think shield dice is one of the better slow dices in this game. It does not add anything to damage in particular, but it does hold the mobs for a really really long time and it works really well along with nuke dice. I think if you're going to be using a slow dice, you might as well go with shield, even though there are some other options to it. I'm going to be putting shield dice at an A tier, but it could be considered a low S tier as well. It doesn't really go with all dices and it also isn't that widely used apart from PvP, but nevertheless it is a really good dice. Next up we have silence dice. Silence has been nerfed in terms of basic damage, which I think gave it quite a big hit. It made the dice harder to use early game, but later game the nerf does not really matter whatsoever. I think silence is a really really solid dice that works with a lot of different texts and that it is one of the best aggro dices that you can use in the current meta. I'm going to be putting silence dice at an A tier because I think it is a really really good option if you want to use aggro and have a decently high chance of winning. Next up we have solar dice which is one of my personal favorite dices ever. I think solar is a really good solid and beautiful wonderful dice in this game but it isn't really used anymore, and I can definitely see why. The damage simply just does not hold up, and there are many different dices that have quite a lot more damage than Solar does. Either way, I'm going to be putting Solar at a C tier, I think it can be used for a few different occasions, and it does work quite well against IX as well. Next up we have Soul Dice, which is one of the best DPS dices in this game still. Soul Dice works extremely well for co-op as an example, but it is quite vulnerable since you can very easily lose all your DPS in a matter of seconds. I'm going to be putting soul dice at an S tier because I think the damage is really really good and that the dice can be used for many different things. Next up we have star dice. Now I think star dice is an okay dice but not really that good any longer. I think star dice is difficult to play with with the speed change unless you're always running it on mission mode. I'm going to be a bit rough on star dice and I'm going to be putting it at a D tier because I don't really see it all that much anymore and I really don't think it is as good as it used to be. Next up we have storm dice. Now Storm Dice has always been a decent dice. Now to this day it still isn't a bad dice, but it doesn't work as well as it used to. I'm going to be putting Storm Dice at a B tier, but I do think that it could be at a high C tier as well. Next up we have Summoner Dice. Now Summoner Dice is and has always been a decent dice, especially after they added the trade to the dice, I think it's been even more widely used than before, and therefore I am going to be putting it at an A tier. It is a really good dice to grow your board, it works quite well against aggro, goes really well with nuke, and you could use it in many different ways. Next up we have Supplement Dice. Now Supplement using the trait is a really really good dice if you want to grow your board. It is usually a lot more expensive than using Growth for example, but it gets the job done fast and easily. Especially during Berserk Waves, you can use it very effectively if your board ends up getting wiped by a Leon, as an example. I'm going to be putting Supplement using Trait at an S tier. I think this dice can be used for co-op in certain occasions, it can almost always be used for PvP if you want it there, and it works well for events and pretty much all other game modes in this game. Next up we have time dice and I'm just gonna put it at F tier. It really isn't a dice that people use and I don't really think it was ever that used either. Time dice simply just isn't a very good dice. Next up we have Timewinder. Now Timewinder is an extremely good dice both for PvP and co-op, especially since Ford got added I've seen this dice all over PvP and it is still of course used in co-op as well. I'm going to be putting Timewinder at an S tier simply because the ability is absolutely amazing, it can be used for many many different things and it basically just lets you do things that would never have been possible without it. Next up we have Tsunami Dice. Tsunami Dice is a really really good dice and can be used for many different things as well. I've seen it be used in co-op, but I've also seen it a lot in PvP. 
you can use it to slow down mobs and it also deals damage along with it. I'm going to be putting Tsunami Dice at an S plus tier. I think it could be put as a high S tier as well, but my ranking will be an S plus. Next up, we have Typhoon Dice. Now, I think Typhoon Dice is a pretty alright dice, but I don't really think you can use it very well anymore. Typhoon Dice is usable, but I personally don't really like the dice, and I think that there are better options than Typhoon Dice specifically. From what I know, it can be used using a few different decks, such as Devil Sword as an example, but I do still think there are better options to it. I am unfortunately going to be putting this dice at a D tier. I think it could be put as a low C tier, but a D tier is going to be my final ranking. Next up, we have Variable Dice. Now, Variable Dice, I'm really sorry, but it's gonna be an F tier for me. I think there are many different dices that you can use to grow your board and do pretty much everything else that this dice allows you to do. So it is going to be an F tier from me. Next up, we have Volcano Dice. Now, Volcano Dice isn't super new to the game anymore, but it also hasn't been added very recently. Volcano Dice, for me, seems to be a really, really strong dice, and it works really well against aggro and in quite late waves too. I'm going to be adding Volcano Dice at an A tier, simply because the damage can be really, really high and it works great against aggro. And lastly, we have Yin Yang Dice. Now, I'm straight up just going to put in Yin Yang Dice at a C tier. I do think it could be put as a low C tier. The dice is alright, and it can be used especially on lower classes, but it really isn't commonly seen, and I do definitely understand why. It is going to be a low C tier for me. Now, the Bunny Dice is obviously going to be an S tier. I, I, I don't know what else, where else to put it. it. It's got to be up there. Bunny Dice, S plus tier. And that right there was it for the Random Dice Defense Legendary Tier List. These are basically the final results of my ratings. Depending on when you're watching this, the ratings may vary different amounts in accuracy. And it is of course up for each and every one to decide themselves how good they think a dice is. So once again, take everything I've said so far with a grain of salt. Anyways, that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed and I'll hopefully see you in my next video. Take care, stay safe and later.